KSN 12 News starts right now with breaking news. Dozens are marching in the streets of Milwaukee right now. Protesting the decision not to charge the officer who killed an unarmed black man in Ferguson, Missouri. 12 News, Terry Sater is with the protesters right now. At the center of this protest here is Dontre Hamilton's mother speaks here on the steps of Milwaukee's federal courthouse is what happened to Dontre Hamilton here on April 30th in Red Arrow Park in downtown Milwaukee. An unarmed black man shot by a Milwaukee police officer. That police officer has since been fired by the police chief. And now the demonstrators here have been waiting for nearly seven months to find out whether that officer will face criminal charges as a result of this shooting. This is clearly the largest group of demonstrators we've seen as part of one of these Dontre Hamilton protests in several months. I would estimate the crowd at around 200 people. It's interesting because while they chant uh, things that are against the Milwaukee Police Department and say we need to get rid of racist police officers, the Milwaukee Police Department is providing them safe escort. There are multiple squad cars. If we can go right over here, I'm going to have my photographer, Brady Heddington, go right over here, the Milwaukee Police Department, with several squad cars downtown Milwaukee, blocking streets, working with the demonstrators as they've marched several blocks now from Red Arrow Park to make sure that those demonstrators are safe. They've been shouting slogans of, we are here for Michael Brown, shouting Dontre Hamilton's name, and this demonstration is far from over. Live in downtown Milwaukee, Terry Sater, WISN 12 News. Thank you, Terry. And let's go to Matt Salemi. He's in News Chopper 12. Matt, you can see the large group from the air. Yeah, this is definitely the largest group that we've seen so far in one of these marches, Kathy, as Terry mentioned. Uh, right now, they're on Wisconsin Avenue, right in front of the federal courthouse. They marched from Red Arrow Park down Water Street to Wisconsin, and they're now uh, here speeching and, uh, and him rallying again in front. Now, the Milwaukee Police Department does have quite a presence here as well. You can see they've got a dozen or so squads. They're at every corner around the federal courthouse at this point, but everything seems to be going peacefully at this point. We'll continue to keep an eye on it. Reporting live at News Chopper 12, Matt Salemi, WISN 12 News. All right, Matt, thank you. Milwaukee's district attorney still has to make a decision on whether to charge a Milwaukee police officer for the death of Dontre Hamilton. Hamilton was shot in April. The officer, Christopher Manny, was fired in October. Police Chief Ed Flynn told us earlier he does not foresee any violence happening in Milwaukee like the unrest at Ferguson. Very seldom do you see protesters become rioters. Rioters are overwhelmingly young with criminal records who take advantage of pain, frustration, and disorder to steal. And that's what you saw last night. You didn't see people who were carrying peaceful protest signs suddenly throw their sign down and break into a liquor store. And Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark also expects we won't see any violence like Ferguson when the decision comes down in the Hamilton case. He realizes people may be frustrated with the time it's taking, but says you've got to let the investigation play out. I understand the process is lengthy. I understand the process is not perfect. But it's all we have. We cannot allow the you know, behavior that resembles a third world nation, go on. 